Ever struggled blending background images together in your composites? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to very easily automate the panoramic process when creating backgrounds for your composites. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art, and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos Monday to Friday. It's free, it's easy, and it really supports the channel. Let's roll the video and enjoy. So before we get into the tutorial, all the images you see in these tutorials have used techniques from my Hollywood processing course. So if you want to look at that and get more details, there is a link below the video. So let's get into the tutorial. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just show you the layers of this image and then we'll get into the main part of the tutorial, which is how I created this background here, which is basically a real background from the eye of the sky, but it is four or five different images um, in a panorama style image. And I'm going to show you how to very, very easily photo merge this together in Photoshop. So let's just go through the different layers of this image here. So this is going down from the final layer to the beginning layer. So this is kind of this, the sharpening. Then we've got the dodge and burn, which is mainly on the landscape. Then we've got the color grading. So I'm going to start taking the color grading off. As you can see, this one has a very uh, big effect on the image. We're going for some kind of browny hues here. It felt a little bit too green. I did like that, but I feel this one just kind of captures that classic Scotland feel. So we're just going to now quickly go down these uh, colour grades, as you can see. Taking some hue and saturation off now, now curves. Now you'll see the D is here that I composited in. These are going to start disappearing. And you can see the adjustments, so this was basically the tone and the colour. And here is the deer's breath. So I wanted some breath as it would be quite cold at the top of this hill. Again, colour and tone adjustments. And then we get back down to the background image. So that was the shadow of the deer. And then you get to the, uh, the blending of the image. So this is the background image with nothing else done to it, apart from the blending. Then as you can see here, these are all the different photos and the pieces that were used. So if I build these up, it probably looks quite difficult, like how, how has he got it all together with these jagged lines? And basically, I got Photoshop to do the hard work. So let me just delete that. Nope. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to quickly blend a series of images together to get a panoramic style image. So what you want to do is this starts actually before you come into Photoshop. So when you go to an epic landscape, you need to know that you want to create maybe one of these images. So what you need to do is from left to right, you need to take about four or five images of the scene. So if I move along like so, so that's one end and then got all these images in between and then the final end and as you can see here they're not in order so if I run through I've got one end the other end then I've got the middle but that doesn't matter Photoshop can still uh, jig these around and create your panorama or your photo merge so once you've got all your images that you want to use for this into Photoshop basically all you have to do is go to file automate then this little drop down menu pops up and you just want to go to photo merge and this brings up this menu here so basically when i use this feature i always use auto for me it always creates the best effect but you can use these different ones so you've got perspective you've got cylindrical which is a pretty hard word to say spherical or spherical <laughs> uh, collage and then reposition I would always go for auto. So let me just show you how we do the auto. Then maybe we can look at a couple of the others and how it puts them together. So let's do the auto now. So what you want to do here is because we've got the files open that we want to use already, just go to add open files, then click OK. 
and then that's it photoshop will work it's magic and hopefully by the end of this little process we will have an amazing panoramic style photo merge landscape to put our composite elements into if we wanted to or you could just use it um to create some beautiful landscapes and then i don't know print them out put them on your wall anything you want to do you can do so let's just give photoshop a couple of second well a couple of minutes maybe and wait for this to come out here we go i wait with a bated breath <laughs> what you can't see now is that i'm praying behind this microphone will it work to be fair it's always worked first time so if it doesn't this time then sod's law If it works, oh, it's still going. I thought it'd give me a little bit of a heart attack then. So here we go, and there you cut, and there you get your landscape all photo merged together. For some reason, when you zoom out a little bit too far, you get all the seams here, which I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to fill those in. But when you zoom in, they some for some reason disappear. I guess it's just one of those little Photoshop glitches that I don't know. You'll never know why it does it, and probably Adobe don't even know why it does it either. But there we go, we've got this amazing landscape. So what all you need to do now is you can add other little bits of landscape elements in if you wanted to, or you could just go to the crop tool and then you can just crop this a little bit. So let's zoom out with control minus. And let's just pull in these sides a little bit and then pull up here, somewhere like that. Press enter. Again, Photoshop working its magic. And there you have it, this epic landscape. So if we control plus to zoom in, we have this here. And this is basically how I did the panorama for my composite image. And it's done a pretty amazing job to be fair. So again, if we break down the layers, you can see where Photoshop has uh, placed all these different bits. So the, this one here has two little bits. So again, very, very simple. And like, if I was blending this in myself, I probably wouldn't have done as a good a job as Photoshop has on its own. So let's just get rid of this one. And let's see if we go to one of the other functions on the photo merge and see what happens when we, when we choose those options. So again, let's go to file, automate, Let's go down, let's go to photo merge, and let's choose cylindrical. Add the open files and then press OK and then let's see what happens. Sometimes you get some uh, interesting results from these other ones, quite funny. Um, but again, like I said, just, use, just go with auto. It usually works best for what you need. So we've just cut straight to the output and to be fair, it looks pretty much the same as the other one. Um, so I'm not actually sure what it's done, but again, maybe the, the kind of edges look a little bit different. But yeah, that's done a pretty good job too. So let's do one more, see what happens. So let's close that down. Let's go to File. Let's go to Automate. Let's go to Photo Merge. And let's try Perspective, see what this one does. Add the open files. Click OK. Now we'll uh, jump forward to the final outcome. So let's zoom out. Come on, Photoshop. So Control minus. So, oh, so this is what we get from the perspective montage. I'm not actually sure what has happened here. Um, it's kind of yeah, just kind of done the middle and this end here, and it's also warped um, both ends to a specific kind of perspective as well. So that didn't work. Um, but this is what I wanted. I just wanted to show you one that didn't work. So that's pretty cool. And there is the other options as well. Let's zoom in. So again, yeah, you can see those lines are on this, but when you zoom in, they disappear again. Just some weird Photoshop glitch. But again, that's it. That was just a simple uh, explanation of how you can create those nice photo merge panoramic style backgrounds. It's very good for composite. Uh, so if you like me, you go out to a lot of these landscapes and you take stock photos uh, to use maybe later in your images. Always take them from 
about five maybe from left to right to get the full scene and then we bring it into Photoshop and we can easily automate it so it creates a panoramic background. Well that's it for this tutorial, I hope you found it of value, if you did it would be amazing if you could like, comment and subscribe. You could even share this video with someone you feel will benefit from it. It helps our channel a lot to get seen and we appreciate it each and every time you do. You guys are awesome, we love the interaction, so thanks again, we truly are grateful. Thanks guys and I will see you next time.